It's 2023. Let's be honest, content is king. New content creators are being birthed every day. <laughs> but whether you're brand new or you're a seasoned veteran, everyone's looking for the new tool to help them make the best content, get out there and be number one in the content space. Um, I love playing with new things as far as like new gear is concerned or new tools. And I think I found a combination that's going to change the game for you all. Mackie, salute. You got it right. Let's get into it. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dave from Digital DJ Gear here. And today I want to talk to you about the Mackie DLZ Creator and the Mackie EM99B microphone. This combo has shown me that really cool things can happen when uh, well engineered products come together. Let's talk about it. Um, me personally, I'm a huge fan of ease of use. I love to start there. Mackie has understood that process quite a bit and they've designed that and put that into the DLZ mixer. So let's just start here. Um, you can basically have this device meet you wherever you are. I'm gonna pretend I have zero idea what to do. I love any product that I can open up out the box and get going within 15 minutes, okay? So I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna to go to the actual setup, control mode, we're gonna say easy, and then we're gonna choose setup assistant, and we're gonna choose next. This assistant is clutch. It helps you, any person who never uses device, get up and running in minutes, okay? First thing it says is, before we start, move channel faders to Unity position. If you're not, if you're new and doesn't know, like don't know what Unity is, that just means zero. So all the faders are even, we'll say next. It then tells us to plug in our headphones. This guy has four headphones out on it, four headphone out, excuse me, on it. I have headphone, one set of headphones plugged in. So boom, they're plugged in. I love the picture here too. The picture does show you all of the IO here. Um, there are gonna be four mic preamps or combo connectors for channels one through four. You can plug in a TRS, or an XLR cable to one through four. There's also gonna be quarter inch connections for five, six, um, and seven, eight to 3.5 millimeter connection. But I love the fact that there is going to be a really cool way of getting digital input in there, but let's keep with the assistant and follow along. So headphones are plugged in. It's telling me to put my headphones on to listen. I hear nothing. I do see that things are flashing. It's telling me to the right of the screen, turn my headphone volume up. Now I hear things, perfect. So on the touch screen, I must say really quickly, all the functions here do correlate to the encoders on the side. So that's under, again, really easy. You could touch the screen or you can actually turn the encoder as well. We're gonna go next. Then it tells me to set up my inputs one through four for those connections. I'm gonna say next. Uh, it went to number four, I'm not sure why, but we'll jump back. Input number one, that's where I'm plugged in at. My uh, EM99B is up there. So for this particular input, I'm gonna choose my source as being a dynamic microphone and say next. Um, I see I have some input level happening here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop for a second. Let's pretend I'm not quite sure how loud this should be. I'm gonna go ahead and say listen and set for. And it's going to let me know exactly where I am. Bam, set for me, good to go. I don't need Phantom Power or the 48V here, but if I had a cloud lifter or an actual condenser microphone, I would engage that here as well. We're gonna say next. Input two is actually blank, so we'll skip for now. Input number three is the same, we'll skip. Input number four, same. Now for channels five through 10, um, again, I mentioned before, five and six being a TRS connection. I can choose line in for quarter inch for the back, or I can choose USB audio. I can bring in uh, two stereo pairs, audio, USB audio one and two, or three and four. In this case, I'm gonna choose neither. I'm gonna choose, keep it on none. For seven and eight, um, I can utilize that 3.5 millimeter connector for a stereo pair of audio and one connector from like a phone or so, a, a different source very similar to that. In this case, I don't need that, but it's, it's labeled as aux here. And again, I can choose USB audio for um, one and two or three and four. For nine and 10 though, I am gonna do a source Bluetooth. You can do Bluetooth audio or you can bring in audio from your SD card. Um, again, if you have um, the ability to load, you have the ability to load up sounds on your SD card and have those sounds come through to your actual uh, DLZ machine. 
the cool thing about that is that means that you don't need a computer for this guy. You can actually record your audio, multi-track audio might I add, right to the SD card or trigger sounds from your SD card and put that into your um, your actual podcast or what have you and have that record as well. I'm gonna choose Bluetooth, I'm gonna say next. So now I have to basically connect my Bluetooth device. I think I heard a sound, it might've already connected because I did have it plugged in before, but let me just see. My Bluetooth is on, my DLZ creator is connected. I'm good to go, okay? And then I'm gonna say next. Now for the sample pads. It tells me uh, basically the sample pads are used for playing sound clips, easy peasy. And the actual volume is this fader here, easy peasy. Let's test it out. Classic. Giggles. Screams. <laughs> uh, crazy buzzer. So you have these predetermined sounds already loaded for you, but you get four banks and you get one, two, three, four, five, six pads. So you get six pads for each bank. What's that six times four? Math real quick, 24 different sounds. Great. For speaker setup, again, the picture's here. It tells you to plug in your speakers, uh, connect to the actual out jacks and you're good to go. Also be careful when turn up the volume as microphone feedback can occur. What do you know? I'm, I'm professional, <laughs> so I know that already, but I love that line there. Also, I wanna call attention to a couple things here. There is a ethernet connection on this guy. Um, Mackie says that a streaming function is coming via ethernet. I'm curious to see what that's gonna be about. I wonder if like it'll be Dante enabled or some kind of audio or IP possibly, um, but just curious, very, very uh, curious to see how that develops and goes along, but keep going. So now it says setup complete, we're all good to go. And now we're back to the home screen. The home screen is here. It's pretty, pretty slick, easy to use. Again, I'm in my overview. This is my mix here. Because I kind of know what to do, and right now we're in a stripped down version of this, I'm gonna jump back here. My control mode, I'm gonna go back into Pro. That way I have all my functionality. If you're a pro, you know what you're doing. Already here, good to go. So. I want to start here first, okay? Let's go ahead and jump over to input number one. We'll choose the channel. There's some presets you can choose. So for this case, it has dynamic microphone because I chose that in my setup, but there is an actual setup for the EM99B. I'm gonna choose that, I'm gonna load that. Cool, that's loaded. I can change my channel color. So let's make it, uh, make it blue, why not? You could change your icon too. We'll name this channel me. So say Dave. Perfect. There we go. Perfect. My game's already set. I can hear myself. Um, there's also other effects you can actually do. There's reverb and delay. If you wanted to add that. Uh, typically for a podcast, you probably don't want to throw too much reverb or delay on things. But if you're doing like a cool little like amp DJ set or you're streaming, that might work really well. Um, actually, check it out. You could do something really cool like this. Like. Okay, so if I jump here, I'm on channel, I'll turn my reverb up and I'll jump back to my effects. I'll go to reverb and then I'll turn my level up and my reverb is coming through. If I wanted to, I could even do a preset. Let's just do something exaggerated like hall. We'll load that up. Huge decay, as you can see. Oh, got some feedback, right? Let me turn this down a little bit. Yep, bam. Also, I can do my delay, my delay time, turn that up, go back to channel, delay to it, 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 perfect, 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 perfect. One of those like warm, what's like warm loads, one of those like heavy feedback. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, Sounds like that. That's awesome. We'll turn that down. Cool. Very simple, very straightforward. It's, it's, it's brilliant, man. Go to my EQ section. Uh, because I chose the preset, the EQ's already set up for me, but we can adjust on the fly really quickly, right? Again, these encoders will control these different um, parameters on the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my high pass filter. I can cycle through my three band EQ, it's three bands. Uh, let's say I'll jump over with the knob and then we'll actually scoop out something around 350. Drop that a bit. And then I can also touch and choose that. So we'll go over here. We'll bring this over to about, uh, just beyond 2K. And then I'll jump over to band number three. And then we give it 
we'll give it like a little boost why the q bit and then we'll go over to like maybe 8k or so cool um there's a gate functionality i'll turn gate off don't need that right now um there is a compressor but the gate would be nice too for like preventing feedback but the compressor sounds great i'm gonna go ahead and adjust the threshold and the ratio so let's do a harder compressor four to one we'll bring the ratio down a little bit more and then we're good to go on the gain perfect we're good to go there the de-esser is sitting really nice it's kind of getting squashed so we'll up this a little bit uh, we'll keep it at 6.4k but let's go ahead and pull the threshold back a little bit so we're not squashing the audio and then bam there we go again super easy i did this on the fly right from the device super super responsive touchscreen easy to do encoders easy to maneuver super easy now if i want to jump back over here i can make my headphone mixes if i want to um first of all this is going to be the actual overall mix for the content but i could jump over here and make a headphone mix either the standard which is going to be the same mix as what i have set for the overall piece of content that i'm making here on the home screen or i could do a custom mix or have it do a quick mix for me where it just brings things to unity um custom mix i would have to basically you know go in and adjust what i want to have um so and then also a quick mix which is basically bring things just beneath unity uh unity excuse me and have that be set for you super super easy super super easy to get going no questions asked you have it right here so like let's say for example if you're a streamer right and you are on you're doing an ant stream and you like to play music on your stream and you got the clearance to do so you might go to something like this you might go over to overview um and actually let's go ahead and adjust how dim see how dim these buttons are we can change that real quick actually so we're going to go over to the, the the cog wheel and then we'll go to screen brightness 100 percent for the uh the lit button we're going to actually we can up that slide the slider we'll up it and then for the dim button we'll up that as well so it's a little bit lighter there we go cool so now if i wanted to go here and i wanted to basically um do something to the effect of like play some music uh let's see i could lower this let's bring this up some i have that my, my bluetooth audio coming in right so now i'm streaming on amp right so let's just see if i want to like you know up things a bit go to my channel I'm going back to my setup and then my effects, I'll turn my reverb up. Yes, sir. Uh. I messed up, but it be like that. I missed out, right. but it be like that. You're now tuned into like the greatest. <laughs> Why they had to do me like uh, that, man? So awesome. It wasn't supposed to be like that. Yes, yes. Like Select I out, but it be like Select that. Select out. Passed out, but it be like that. <laughs> Lord knows it's been right. like that. But it don't got to end like that. Let's go. My sun don't shine no more. <laughs> yeah. My light super ain't easy, no super more. easy, man. Uh, you know, I, I, I can't stress enough um, how, how much fun it is to create content with this piece, how easy it is to make content with this piece. We have these in stock right now at Digital DJ Gear. The EM99B is going to be $149.99. The DLZ Creator is $799.99. Um, these two work so well together. You might say $799.99 is a bit steep, Dave. Why so much money? For what you get as a standalone content creation piece mixer, it can work with your doll, work with your computer, or work standalone. Compared to what's in the market right now, it's a pretty competitive price point. Um, other things are a bit more expensive. There's some things that are cheaper. But for what you get and the functionality, I think $799 is, is it's gonna be right there on the button. We have them in stock right now. If you're making content and you're gonna invest in yourself, jump over to DJ, digitaldjgear.com, grab one up and make some content. Let's do it. Like that. We hope you enjoyed this video from Digital DJ Gear. To learn more about all of our pro audio, lighting, DJ, and recording equipment, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel now. Be sure to leave a comment below if this video helped you and check out these other videos we think you might like. Until next time, thanks for watching.